Hey, Jenny, it's so good to see you. I miss seeing you and John and all of your family in person on Sunday mornings, which got me wondering, do you as chair of the worship committee have an update about when we might be returning to indoor in-person worship again? And I should warn you, I am recording this Zoom conversation for some other folks to, to hear whatever news you might have. Hey, Peter, we miss seeing you too and missing all of our friends. And I do have an update. And as many of the members know, the anticipated holiday spikes and the COVID numbers in our area did happen, resulting in the Mecklenburg County Public Health Directive that we've been living under for the past two months. And that's why our Medical Advisory Task Force with people like Wynne Mabry, one of our elders who used to lead the Mecklenburg County Health Department, have been counseling us on continuing to close the building to non-essential activities. But I know I am glad the kids, the children and youth can safety meet outside again. But for the rest of us, the directive has still been in place. Yeah, and I, and I know that. And I am thankful that our children can meet outside and socially distant and do that safely. But I also know some people are getting a little impatient. And, it's, and, I, and I hear that impatience rising as more people get vaccinated. But yeah, and it's, it's that that's the big issue. It's the, the but. There are still a lot of people who are not vaccinated, including the staff, and your safety matters to us. So many of the risks of indoor, in-person worship do remain. And not to mention that gathering some people on Sundays to worship would still exclude so many people from the primary activity of the church. For those reasons, safety and inclusivity, the session is still holding off on indoor, in-person worship until May the 23rd. And that date might sound random, but that is Pentecost, the birth of the church. And so even though it does sound a long way off and means another Easter out of the sanctuary, which will disappoint many people, but we can tell people that the session is trying to take advantage of our absence to arrange for some much needed work in the sanctuary. Right. In fact, a desperately needed and urgent replacement of a big part of our heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system begins this week. And if things work out for us, we'll be doing some other repairs and renovations while we are out of the sanctuary. Uh, well, I am glad to hear that finance and property in session are gonna try and use that time out of the sanctuary as, as well as we can. And I do know that it's gonna be disappointing for many people to, to wait till Pentecost, the birth, and in this case, maybe the rebirth of the church. But the good news, at least I hope, is that we know how to do digital worship by now. And the good news is also that as COVID numbers get better, and they have been getting better, we can begin to add in some non-Sunday outside events like our Wednesday night devotionals, which we were doing during Advent. We hope to introduce in Lent. And we can still have individuals slide through for very small, discrete things like a, a baptism, or they can gather outside for things like the third grade Bible presentation, where we can keep people distant and and masked, and, and who knows, maybe for Palm Sunday, there might be a parade of palms waving out car windows as we drive through Davidson. I do want you to know that the staff is gonna try and keep being creative and add some new things to our worship life during this extended pandemic worship, new things like this Sunday, 8.30 Zoom worship for folks who are early risers and missing faces on the screens. We're gonna begin that this Sunday, February 21st, and we hope to see some of our members there. We're excited about that um, Zoom early service. We're looking forward to participating in that. And we really do need that creativity and energy, Peter, and some of the other ways that to connect in person when the numbers get better. We really enjoyed seeing those third graders um, this past Sunday. Um, and so those sorts of things are fun for everybody to get to see online too. And I'm just so glad that we have, the session has the Medical Advisory Task Force of doctors and nurses to help guide us as we make these decisions about how and when to reopen to more in-person activities safely. But in the meantime, know that we really do miss you, all of you, and that the worship committee and session will to continue to support the staff in leading our church. And in the meantime, you know, making sure that worship online will be meaningful during Lent and Easter. Well, Jenny, thank you for those kind words. And I know I'm thankful to all of the session, the Medical Advisory Task Force. And I'm thankful to you as chair of worship and as a member of session, your support and your shared leadership during this time certainly means a lot to the staff. Well, I will see you this Sunday in Zoom worship. And in the meantime, say hi to John and your family and be safe and well. Take care, Jenny. We'll do it. Take care, Peter. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.